Good evening. We have just concluded two virtual meetings so far. The drawdown uh, of our forces is progressing in an orderly and coordinated way. And at every step, the safety of our personnel remains paramount. We are ending our military mission, but we are uh, not ending our support to uh, the, Af the Afghans. So today, defense ministers discussed the way forward. We will continue our civilian diplomatic presence in Kabul to provide advice and capacity building support to Afghan security institutions. We will continue to provide funding to the Afghan security forces. We are also looking at how uh, we can provide military education and training outside Afghanistan focused on special operation forces. And we are working on how to fund the provisions of services enabling allies and the international community to stay in Kabul, including support for the airport. Ministers agreed that this continued support is the best way in which we can all contribute to peace efforts in Afghanistan. So we see that new and disruptive technologies uh, such as uh, autonomous systems, artificial intelligence, big data is really changing uh, the way uh, uh, our militaries are going to operate uh, in the future and uh, we need to uh, 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 maintain our technological advantage, our uh, te technological edge, as we have had for so many uh, decades. Um, uh, and we also see that, for instance, China is investing heavily in these uh, technologies, and their, uh, their, uh, their intent is to become the world's leading power in, for instance, artificial intelligence in the next uh, uh, decade. And NATO has to uh, stay ahead of the curve, and that's the reason why we now are, uh, as part of the NATO 2030 agenda, uh, working on this uh, 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 defense accelerator as a, as, as a tool to uh, strengthen uh, uh, our uh, coordination, our work on technology, and also to prevent any gaps um, uh, uh, between allies, because we need to maintain our ability to work together, interoperability, also in the age of new and more disruptive technologies.